Thank you all for calling in on Living Your Dream Wednesday. And I said this before, I'll say it again. Sometimes you have to be fired or laid off to live your dream. Nadine, how you doing out of Maryland? Hey, Michael, how are you? Good. I'm trying to inspire folks to, to live their dream and understand this economy is never coming back the way it was, man. It'll come back better than it is now, but we're going to have to create our own wealth out here if we want to be successful. So true, so true. What happened first, with you? Wanna, the first thing I'd like to say is thank you for being who you are. You're such an inspiration. Thank it's you. It's my honor to call in and speak on this topic. I worked for Verizon for many years, very gainfully employed, very, very unhappy, and just drained mentally and just left. I fired myself. I didn't wait for them to fire me. I fired whoa, myself. Whoa, whoa. What, what happened that day? Do you remember the day you left? I do remember the day. Tell I me left. about the day you it, left. It was December of 2007, actually. Mm-hmm. And it was just a day where they sent papers around for people that wanted to take a buyout. Mm -hmm. And I said to myself, you know what? I'm not going to get a pension from this place because I I could never stay as long as I would need to. Right. I took the buyout and I started going after my passion. I mean, I'm a chef. But what was it like that day, though, the day you left? Because, see, I can remember the day that I left CTA. It was like a dream almost. And I'm going to say to all the folks out there that don't think I'm a a religious guy, but I'm a spiritual guy. I I pray really hard. I cried. I called yes. my mom. I told her I was getting ready to go up to the job and turn in my equipment. I got on the train. I rode into the station. I went upstairs to the general manager's office. I handed all my equipment, and I said, I'm leaving. I mean, that was the scariest and most exciting day of my life still to this day. And yes. I got back on that train to go home, and my life has not been the same since. It's a scary thing to do, but it was the most exciting thing I ever did in my life. And that's the thing. I talked about it with my husband. I prayed about it. Mm -hmm. And he said, if you want to leave, leave. I'm behind you 100%. And I just left. I turned the papers in, but I was free. I felt so free. I just was free. It just felt like the weight of the world had been lifted off my shoulders. It's an incredible feeling, isn't it? It's an incredible feeling, Nadine. I hope a lot of... It's awesome. It is. It is awesome. Stand by for me, sweet. I'm trying to get as many calls as I can, but I can see we're definitely feeling each other on that. I'm serious. You become invisible. I know. I was unemployed. And I said, I will never allow anybody else to control my livelihood ever again. I meant that then, and I mean it now. You got to be in control, man. Fire and hot.